Hello and welcome to Inside the Shed. I'm Steve Hearn and coming up on today's show, we're looking at the Art Studio app on the iPad. Okay, so here's the iPad with the Art Studio app on the screen. Just one touch opens the Art Studio. And you have a uh, fresh uh, file or page or sheet ready for you to use. Now to find the function buttons, if they haven't automatically come up, um, there's in the bottom right hand corner a small arrow. Just one press on that arrow and you have the function buttons. And the main functions are along the bottom here. It starts from the left to the right and on the left is a pencil. We press that once and it brings up the options for drawing. Next to that is a colour and that one press will bring up the options for the colour palette and next to that is the layer option and there's some other options there as well and you can just play around with those and discover those. I'm not going to go through too much detail because I want to show you quickly just drawing and using the Art Studio app to draw with. So my process when I'm going to do a drawing, the first thing actually what I want to do is add a new layer which is my drawing layer to do the art or the line work with. So what I do is I just keep my finger on the current layer and it brings another option box for me and I can just press add a new layer. Now I have my layer ready and I'm ready to draw. So I can just press outside of this box on the paper and it clears it for me or I can actually just press on another function. Now I just want to check the pencil, the drawing or the drawing tool I want to use. So pressing the Bottom left hand corner here, the pencil once brings the pencil up again, and here's the pencil right at the top. Just press and hold, and it brings the options. And here you can set the size, the opacity, and other various abilities within the changing of how the pencil reacts. Um, I'm not going to go through all those now. What I would say if you have the app or you're going to download this, play around with that. You'll find it to be quite a lot of fun, and it's a good way to experiment and see what you can do and create. But this setup here at the moment is currently the standard what I will use to draw. So that's all okay. Again, once you're happy with that, just press once outside and you're back in the drawing area. Now to get some screen real estate, to get more ability to have more room to draw with, you can remove temporarily the function areas by pressing that arrow again down in the bottom right hand corner and just one press and it gives you all the drawing screen. And it's very simple, I'm just going to use my finger. Um, you, you can have the pogo pen, but uh, you may not actually have that. So I'm just going to use my finger for this demonstration. And we're just going to draw a very simple cartoon. We're going to do a nose, uh, some smiley eyes, a mouth, some eyebrows, and a chin. And we'll just fill in with a face here. And you can see how easily that the app works with reacting to my finger on the screen. It picks it up um, very easily and it gives a nice reaction. What you may be able to tell from this is that there's no pressure sensitivity on the iPad screen, but there is variation on line width as I'm drawing. And the way the app works is this. When you draw a line, it, it, it works on the speed of, of that line being drawn. So if I draw a fast line, you can see that within the setup I had the beginning and end points of the line set to thin, which you can see here, and the, the middle area is the thick part. And that works because I drew that line reasonably quickly. Now, let me just pop up here on the function areas. I forgot to mention just on the top left hand corner is an arrow, which is the undo arrow and you can just undo that, so just take that line off again. So let me just show you that again. Drawing the line very quickly, you get the variation on thickness. If you draw slowly, you get a almost a constant line, a thick line. So you have those options. And that's how that works with drawing lines and gives you this variation, what you see on the thickness. You can zoom in as well. You just put two fingers on, pinch and go stretch your fingers out to zoom in bring them together to zoom in, uh, or zoom out, sorry. Um, and you have this ability with Art Studio to go in and out like this. If you zoom in and you want to move to another area, just put two fingers on the screen and just drag it across to where you want to see and where you want to draw. 
Okay, so um, just to sort of wrap up with this, I want to just go back to the layers again and show you one last thing. So I press the arrow to bring the function area up again, and on the bottom here, the third selection along from the left is the layer, so I press the layer selection, and I want to bring another layer in to do some colour work on. So what I do is I select the base layer, the bottom, the start layer, which is the white sheet of paper, and I press and hold that and select add a new layer which is the top button there, press that and that layer now sits underneath the line layer where I drew the line work and that's the best way to do this if you want to colour the skin tones or background I'm just going to do some background so uh, I'm on that layer, it's actually selected because it has this orange line box around it that's the current layer selected again one press outside and um, well let me just bring that back up again I want to show you one last thing I mentioned earlier on the function boxes for the detail is up you can actually to get rid of this if you want to go to another function just press a function and it removes it and go straight to the function you've selected so I'm looking here to go back to the pencil because I was in the eraser I've now selected the pencil and um, I want to make the pencil larger to get some large space colouring done so here at the top I can move the slider along and increase the size of the pencil. That's good. Now I want to change the colour. Uh, down the bottom again on the function line, the second in from the left is the colour. It's black, it doesn't show very well here, but if I press and hold I then get the colour palette. And with the colour palette as you see, um, the other box opened up as well because I had my finger on that for more than a second. And you have the ability to choose any colour you wish. Uh, the whole range is here, just like all the other type of applications you have on the computer. Um, this is a great function, allows you very great flexibility to choose the colours you want. Um, you do have a standard set on the palette here, and I'm going to choose, uh, let's do a lime green. It will show up quite nicely on the screen. So I've chosen my colour, again to start working back on the picture, one tap outside, take out the function box. I'm now on the colour layer which is what I've, I've created and I can just start colouring and add it in this colour like this. So once you have your uh, picture drawing as you want it uh, you'll obviously want to save that and uh, you can do that again you press the arrow to get the function uh, boxes uh, open to you and on the bottom here uh, towards the right side is a folder uh, which looks like a folder icon press that once and you have the options listed here on the side and to save the image you select the save button on the list on the left hand side so just press save and just save image saved OK and it's as simple as that there are some other uh, functions as well you can export the photo if we do that press export you can export it to the image gallery, the photo gallery on the iPad, do OK. It just takes another copy and puts it in the image gallery or the photo gallery, which you can view quite easily. You can also send by email and uh, other things as well. But it's very easy, very easy to use. Um, and that's kind of really about it. That, that's kind of all there is. Uh, a very simple way to use the Art Studio app. It works very well. It's not too difficult. The more you play and experiment with it, the more fun you'll have, and it, it's really, really cool. Well, thank you for taking the time to watch. Uh, I do appreciate it.